Hey, how's everybody doing today? JP from JP's Tech, and should I add gaming? Anyways, I've been playing DCS now for a few months, and uh, I've been having fun with it, but I noticed the other day that I used the Steam Edition, and I was running still in 2.7, and I was like, I uninstalled it and installed it, and I went online, I looked around, and I didn't really see too much information on it, and then I finally went into my Steam, and... Well, long story short, I'm going to just show you how to do your update if you want to go from 2.7 to 2.8 on the Steam Edition. Basically, whether you're running Windows 10 or 11, you're going to go to your Steam icon, come up in your games, wherever, find over in the left-hand side of the screen where it says DCS World, on D yeah, DCS World Steam Edition. Mine's open beta. It wasn't 20 minutes ago. But basically, what you're going to do is you right-click with the mouse on Properties, and you're going to come up to your general screen, and it has your updates, how you want your game to update, whether you want it to do it, you know, on startup, whatnot, your local files, backup files, uh, language, and betas, controller, and DLC, which is the downloadable content, I guess. So... I selected beta and it said just general in here I'm pretty sure it was so anyways I went to the drop down arrow and I selected the open beta icon clicked on that I didn't need a code I checked in there and it said check for code I pressed it there was no code I, I so I didn't even worry about it I closed it down and this is basically the same steps that you would probably want to take close it down I closed down my steam I went back in opened it up Went to my library, downloadables, and voila, it um, took a couple of minutes. It took me about a minute and a half, two minutes. And then I went back in the game, and sure enough, I was updated to 2.8. So if you want to run the open beta, that's basically how easy it is to do it if you're running the Steam Edition. Only warning I have about this with open beta is if you belong to a squad or a team, some of them require that you use the stable version. Not that this isn't stable, but it's the 2.7 is already the proven version where they've already corrected as many problems that they possibly could find before they went on to an update where they could do their beta. So I just wanted to do this short video. Anybody out there, someone out there may be having the same problem I did. Just a little helpful information, I hope. On that note, I'm shutting this down. I'm going to go plow my F-18 into something. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a video in the near future on my Win Wing F-18 throttle setup and my Verbal joystick with the F-18 handle. I also have the A-10 Warthog grip as well as the Verpal F-14, which I've been waiting on um, going on six weeks now. I mean, it, it's a little kind of ridiculous. If I would have went to Wing Wing, I would have had it a week later, but I'm not knocking them. I love it. Quality is awesome, their stuff. I just I just can't get over the time it takes them to get out, you know, one piece. I, I, waited, I waited five weeks for the base alone. Was it worth it? Yeah. Would have I liked to try out the Wind Wing? Oh, absolutely. I think the Wind Wing base, it, it looks incredible as well. Kind of similar in the way they're designed on the inside as far as looking at the material it's made of. But anyways, getting way off topic here. So that's basically what I just did. If anybody's having that problem and they're stuck on 2.7 running the Steam Edition and they want to update, that's how you get over to your beta. I hope I helped someone out. Don't forget to give my channel a like. A sub and listen i love the comments keep them coming you got something you want to say something you want to talk about some questions hit me up i'm always here and if you want give me some ideas on some future videos you'd like to see all right everybody jp checking out take care